Christmas! My name is Laura, and this is my friend Danielle. We are so excited that you're here to worship with us this Christmas, and we have something super fun planned for you. But before we get started, why don't you take a minute to invite your friends and family to join us? Yeah, it's so easy. Just send them a link via text, or you can share it on your social media. And you're definitely gonna wanna share this one because we have so much fun. We have a special Christmas song coming up, Pastor Greg's gonna share a little mini message, but first we have a special Christmas version of Hey You Kids. This is the story of Jesus' birth. Um, my angel came to Mary and said, you're going to have a baby. It was going to be Jesus. He's Christ the Lord. He's gonna save the world. The king told the people that he wanted to count everyone in his land. Mary and Joseph had to go a very long way to Bethlehem. It was a young, young trip on a donkey. They had to go 10 miles. Mary rode on the donkey and Joseph walked beside it. Um, I think the donkey name was Sparkles. <laughs> they were tired after that long trip. Well, if your feet got really so tired, then you would just sit down for a little bit. It hurt a lot for Joseph's feet. I can sit down for a little bit. We gotta keep going, I'm pregnant. When they got to the town, they couldn't find a hotel to stay in. Um, why? Because, because everyone else had a meeting out there. They came and, and someone said, do you need a, a room to sleep in? Yes. I don't have any rooms left, said the man that came up to them. He said, where can we stay? You can sleep in the stable. A stable is kind of shaped like a barn. It was very messy in there, but they found a place to sleep in there. He said, I'm gonna give birth to someone in there. Okay. The time came for a child to be born. It's about time. I feel like I'm gonna pop. Ah, oh, look at that rock. Jesus is born. He's a son. He robbed them in swine claws and put them in the manger. He's so cute. Out in the field, some shepherds were watching the sheep. Um, uh, um, um. It's a hard job, but, but. Sheep are really nice. They sometimes bite so when you bother them. And then angels, uh, angels appeared in the sky. Oh no, I'm terrified. What are these angels gonna do to us? Are they gonna turn us into cheeseburgers? No, we are not. Don't be afraid. I have come to give good news. The Savior has been born in Beth. Bethlehem. He's laying in the manger. Is that where elves eat from? And then a bunch of angels appealed with the one angel and they sang, Glory to God in the highest heaven. Glory to God in the highest heaven. The angel said, Go find Jesus. Go find the baby. And then the shepherd went to the town of David and searched for him and found him. They found him in a barn and said to Mary and Joseph what the angels had told them. They said, baby Jesus is born. He is laying in a manger. Go find Mary and Joseph. They saw all of the things that, that the angels had told them. Can I hold him and kiss him and squeeze him? Mm-hmm. The shepherds left to go tell everybody about, about Jesus. That baby's amazing. You gotta check out that baby. Then a little while later, they went straight to the town to go to bed. A star appeared in the sky so everyone could know that Jesus was born. It was a big star, 
beyond all the other stars. And three wise men saw the star and knew that it was Jesus. What's the wise men? They followed the star and found Jesus in a barn. They gave presents to Jesus. They gave, gave him th three gifts. The first one was gold. The second one was some some oil. Um, Mom, I don't remember. Maybe, maybe Cindy told me what it is, but I forgot. Okay. And glitter and gold. And the third one was something. No one knows. Mary and Joseph put the things up high because they are not for a baby. Mary and Joseph said thank you to the three wise men. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Good night. That's all we got. That's the Christmas story. Merry Christmas! <laughs> they crack me up every time. But now we're ready to hear from Pastor Greg. Take it away, Pastor Greg. Merry Christmas. What a great day it is to celebrate the greatest day ever in the history of the world, the birth of Jesus. You know, when you think of God, what concepts about God do you have? You know, I think about my daughter, Macy, who she's into Marvel. And when I think about the Marvel series, there's this guy Thanos, who wants to have all the powers of God. And so it's might and strength and it's brute, just force and larger than life concepts. Would you ever think of God as a baby? Probably not. Matter of fact, I don't think any of us think about God as a baby very often. But yet, what do we know about a baby? I mean, first, they're just adorable, aren't they? And they have this amazing gift of peace, trust, and no prejudices or preconceived notion, just love and care. So now we've got to ask ourselves the question, well, if Jesus is God, why did he come as a baby? Well, I think it actually gives us the very character, nature, and DNA of God. I think we get to see this amazing love of who Jesus is by coming as a baby in a way that no one would have imagined. No one would have said that God would come and be a baby. And yet, that's exactly what Jesus did. He came as a little baby. And first, what does it tell us? Well, Jesus came not to bring wrath or condemnation, anger, or rebuke. Instead, he came to bring peace. Peace with God. Peace with him. And I can't think of anything more that gives great peace than when you hold a baby. Where you can say nothing else in the world matters than this very moment right now. So we know that God came with a joy for peace with us. The other thing he came with is he came to bring us 
this truth that he is willing to do anything for us. You know, I'm reminded of when I had my two kids. I'm reminded that that was a moment that I actually understood the magnitude of the love of God for us. Because it was in that moment, in that moment, that I realized that God was willing to do anything to spend time and to love and give me life. When I had my kids, I realized I would give up my own life so that they would have life. And in the Lord and the baby Jesus, we learned that he will give us everything for him, everything. And we have that life with him. He's willing to give it all for you and for me. He's willing to show us great love. The other great thing that we learn about Jesus coming as a baby is that he came to bring us his innocence, his innocence, his perfection. Jesus is that perfect God that came into the world in unimaginable ways for you and for me. And it is in those unimaginable ways that we get to see that God does things we could never comprehend or understand, that we would never consider or imagine, right? Here's the other good news. Jesus coming as a baby means that Jesus understands every single step of your life. He knows. He's been there. You don't have a God that does not comprehend what you go through. You have a God that has lived every second of a life just like yours. From growing up as a toddler to a teenager to a young adult to living a life that's hard in this world. Lastly, we have this great certainty that if God was willing to become like us, that that means God is one of us and is always with us. And we have a God who understands you. No matter where we've been or what we've done or where we're at, God knows us and God loves us. And God just wants to be with us. So how does this understanding of God as a baby, Jesus, for you and for me, how does this even play in our life today? Well, what's it look like if you and I live a life sharing and showing the very peace of God? You see, this Christmas, I think we're all invited to see who Jesus is. The God who came to bring peace on earth. And boy, do we ever need that. The God who came to love every single person, everyone. The God who was pondered and who people looked at and just treasured up the miracles and the love and the things that he did for them. And the God who is willing to show love and to serve. What's it look like if we spend 2021 certain of God's love for you? Certain of God's peace for you? And what's it look like if we spend 2021 sharing God's love, God's peace, and recognizing that, yes, truly, a baby did change the world. If you have had a baby, you know that your life has changed. Your life is different. And as we know that Jesus, our God, came into this world as a baby, as our Lord and our Savior and our friend, who lived and who died and who rose again for us, that changes our lives and our world as well. And so this, this Christmas, may you recognize and realize that God has done the unimaginable, the unthinkable, the inconceivable. He broke into your life to bring you peace, to bring you joy, to share you with you love and life. So have a Merry Christmas 
as you reflect on the baby Christ child and his love for you every single day as he truly is always with you. God bless you and God bless your Christmas. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him, Christ the Lord. worship team. Yeah, that was great. We'd also love to connect with you. You can do that by introducing yourself by going to the link on the screen. And are you a first timer? We would love to send you a special gift in the mail. And if you have a prayer request, we'd love to be praying with you. Yeah, so you can go to that same link on the screen. Let us know how we can pray for you or maybe even get you connected into a small group or an online class. Yeah, well, that's all we have for you today. So shut off those screens and go celebrate baby Jesus' birthday. But don't forget to set that reminder to join us next Sunday at 10 a.m. for online church. Bye, see, see you later. later.